Hey guys, I'm Big Mike from Hacksmith Industries. <laughs> and this is our Cannawell 281 AC-DC TIG welder. Best part is it's built tough and made in Canada, just like me. The 281 is an absolute beast of a TIG machine. It does AC and DC, high frequency start, has TIG pulse and a stick feature. I love a machine that can do pulse, especially being able to like dial that pulse in for the material you're working on. The torch itself is actually quite ergonomic. It's substantial enough that you feel like you have control over it while you're welding, but it's not so big, chunky, and heavy. It never feels like it's in the way. And the addition of the button on the back is a nice touch as well. You can adjust everything you'd ever want to adjust, really. I mean, uh, you have accessibility to all the parameters, super quick and easy to switch in between them. I absolutely love it. It's user-friendly, and um, it's something that you can get access to also with a glove which I really appreciate. So the nice thing about a welder like this is that it has the ability to do everything from your thin wall stuff all the way up to nice thick heavy wall steel too. It's nice to have a machine that where you still have the control to get into something like this where you can do a nice small tight finished weld and something that's, that's, that's really kind of delicate and light or you can get into structural tubing and not have to really switch up your machine, not having to have two machines to do the same job. This machine is capable of welding aluminum, magnesium, steel, stainless steel, chromoly, copper, nickel alloys, silicon bronze, and brass. Well, we're gonna crank this thing up to 11 and see what this thing can do. There's no, there's no issue with heat or penetration or anything like that. Now, I am by no means a professional welder of any kind, but let me tell you, this machine makes me look like it. A jig or anything for, for anything that we're building here, this is definitely more than adequate to do what we need it to do. And uh, with the liquid cooling, it's nice. The torch doesn't heat up. Definitely, it's no slouch. You can feel it. It doesn't labor bad. Like when, you're, when you lean on the pedal, you barely have to, you turn it up, you barely have to get into it, get the heat into the material. Both AC and DC functions are capable of 280 amps. This thing is a monster. I'm not a professional. I'm like an extreme hobbyist. And the nice thing about it is equipment like this is tailor-made to the extreme hobbyist. It's not, so gargantuanly out of the range of, you know, attainability for your average garage guy who just wants to hit the shop and make some stuff. It's not out of reach, but like the performance is there. You can sit there and use a machine like this and have confidence in the stuff that you're welding and not have it be, you know, you don't need a $10,000, $20,000 piece of equipment to do nice welds. You can achieve it with something like this. It's nice, it's a, it's a powerhouse of a machine actually for, for it being so small. Which is, uh, which is really actually quite impressive. I like it.